Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Midnight Hollow LP here. So we're here with Lyle, and he's at work. I just have to say, I got like 15 minutes into this video last time, and my stupid game froze. It drives me crazy when it does this stupid stuff. So I'm a little aggravated right now, and with the storm outside, I just feel like it's so loud in here, and <laughs> I don't like it. Um, it is pretty chilly, so if I get really quiet, it's probably because I'm freezing to death sitting here in my chair. Um, and uh, I have to warn you that I'm in kind of a funk of a mood today because I had some, um, I had a break-in at my house this morning, so I'm in like an odd place. I don't know, like I'm upset and I'm like terrified, but um, I'm angry and I don't know, there's just a lot going through my mind right now, so I'm trying to work through it. I really am. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, you know, let these people get into their lives and do what they want to do. But um, I just want to let you guys know that I am in kind of that weird little funk today. Anyways, so Lyle is here at work and when he's done, I have him headed over to the gym because I have a reason. Mallory is actually at the gym, but I think she just got kicked off of the uh, treadmill because of this idiotic ghost. This ghost needs to go fly a kite. Now, is this Tatiana Salas? Yes, it is. This lady is pregnant. I don't see... Oh, I do see a belly. Oh, She is actually pregnant with her her with a baby. So, I think she's pregnant as well. Man, look at all the pregnant sims. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, Alright, so you are eating, which is fine. You're at work, about to go home. I did tell him what to do, pretty much, and I told Mika what to do after she gets out. We're going to be working with Lyle today. Uh, he needs to get his... Wow, that's loud. He needs to get his, um... His next... Um... Woohoo with uh, the next person. So, his next woohoo is hopefully Funny going to be me. the same person we were working on earlier, which is so horrible, but it's so true. All right, Victor also got his job, his performance, his rate, his promotion, wow, to professional blogger as well as the bonus of 896 simoleons. He makes 82 simoleons per hour and works from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. All right, so he actually gets out a little bit earlier now. He also made his his day's worth of 336 simoleons. <sighs> Sorry about that. I had to yawn. Alright, so Mika's on her field trip, which is still good. Alright, buddy, come on. Alright, Kara's still there at the gym. That's fine. Mallory, you're still at the gym, which is fine as well. I do want to take Mallory out tonight and pick up a few things around town, hopefully. Um, she's over at the house just playing with her magic, and then she's got a couple things she needs to do. I did tell Victor to go ahead and take a couple naps because he's pretty exhausted. Alright, so I think Lyle just left, and he earned 330 simoleons today, which is great. Following Lyle on over, Mika is getting out of school. Oh no, she's at home. She's doing her homework, I think. And then she's going to go ahead and play with her little dollhouse that she has. Lyle, I did not tell you to go home. You are not listening to me. <sighs> go here. Okay, just do automatic. <laughs> we don't need to run. I'm probably so used to doing it from my spoiled amnesia and all that that it just, when I said go here, it was like, alright, he's got to run. But he doesn't have to, though he's going to anyways. Because you know how crazy the Sims are. They do the craziest things at the craziest times. So, that's fine. Alright. So, going in here, I have a little something something that we're going to be doing. Um, what I want you to do going in here is... Stop. Stop, 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 stop. I'm a little bit pulled back from my thing, so I was on the edge. is why I couldn't get it to move. Alright, let's go ahead and have you call her over. Did you call her over? Alright, you can go home. Okay. 
So, this is pretty much what we did the last time, except for I took her out last time. But, you know what? This is going to work just as great. Alright, so let's go ahead and be friendly. Go ahead and ask about her day. Go ahead and... Um... Do celebrity gossip. Um, go ahead and complain about work. I don't think she's going to like that. So let's not do that. Go ahead and... Enthuse about exercise. Who's this person, buddy? We're trying to, you know, like, talk right here. Do you have to be in our grill? Seriously. Enthuse about work. Going to be friendly and um, give her a friendly hug. Go ahead and get to know her. She's like staring at her like, that's creepy. Go ahead and gossip with her. Give her a high five. Let's see what else is in here. Friendly, more. Oh, you can admire her. Let's do that one. Come on, back. Man, how many things did it pop up with? Friendly. Alright, let's see. Express your fondness. Um, give her a high five. Be funny. Make a silly face. Um, tell her a funny story. And then we're going to move on from there. Alright, I don't care. Kara is excitable. That's good to know, actually. Olive is friendly. Okay. Paparazzi's here. Alright. No, you're not sleeping. Are you crazy? Alright, hold on. It's five something in at night. What I sent you home to do is take care of your needs so that we can go out and go stealing tonight. But, you know, I don't think you're ever going to listen to me. So let's go ahead and let you do that. I'm going to go ahead and let you oops, eat spoiled organic goopy, goopy carbonara. Alright, seriously, clean this out. Alright, that's fine. Once you're done with that, I'll get you to do what I need you to do. Alright, you. Did you do your homework and complete it? Yes, you did. Good girl. Alright, and you're not really hungry, and you're, it's not time to go to bed yet, though. So I'm not going to worry about it. Alright. Go ahead. Please don't waste my time right now. You know he's going to. You know she's going to. And he's not going to be able to get to her. Alright. Alright, so speak to this girl. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with this man's arms, but it's crazy. Alright, let's see. Make a silly face, tell her a funny story. Then go ahead and we're going to, yes, we're going to go romantic. We're going to go ahead and try and blow her a kiss. Yeah, see, where's that ghost? Right there. She's going into birth. See? Crazy person. All right, she's being, um, he think, she thinks we're being amusing. Don't go to sleep. Alright, I want you to go ahead and form a group with this girl. Alright, I want you to do your specials. Do your flirty. No, irresistible. Go ahead and wink at her. Alright, before anything else happens... Oh, man. You guys, don't do this to me. Alright, you go ahead and grab a plate. I'm going to let you go ahead and grab a plate. Even though you don't absolutely need it extremely bad, you could still use it. You go ahead and grab a plate. 
And then I'm going to get you to go out and steal. And I have an idea of where I want to go. Now, I did when I came over here last time, there was a really nice car over here. And it's still here. All right, I want you to come over and swipe something. I really want that car. I don't want any of those ones, so I'm not going to worry about that. Is there anything else out here that I'd like? There's a nice bed. But I'm thinking... I'm thinking not really. All right, I did see this over here at the gym. I did notice that there was the uh, the orange car again that was out here. So you could come over here and we could swipe something here as well. So we do have a couple of things. I could grab a guitar. I could do a lot of things actually. So I do have a lot of ideas of what I would like to get. So let's go ahead and go with that. <laughs> Alright, so he's trying to form a group with her right now. Then I want you to drink from her. Alright, she loved it. You don't need good bars or clubs. Okay. Alright. Uh -huh. Alright, let's go ahead and be romantic. Go ahead and give her an amorous hug. That did not do well. Okay. Go ahead and... Um... Let's see. Be flirty. You could compliment her appearance. <laughs> like, come on. Um, come in her personality. Okay, she's so not going for this. Go ahead and do celebrity gossip. Alright, so celebrity gossip. Go ahead and do Shaka Bra. Be funny and tell her another funny story. Then go ahead and do special. And blow her a kiss. Go ahead and wink at her. Um, go ahead and be flirty. Confess your attraction. Lobby Lobby <laughs> All right. Flirty. No, before you confess your attraction, compliment her appearance and then compliment her personality. Special flirty. Do that. Then go ahead and flirt with her. Then go ahead and do a flirtatious joke. Go ahead and confess your attraction. Alright, is she over there stealing something? No, she's relaxing. Oh, goodness. She didn't do anything, I don't. She is so ridiculous. Can't swipe anything when being watched. Who is here? Alright, child, go home. Cora Flynn, go home. I want that car so very badly, but you know what? If I'm going to have to wait on that, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to go someplace else. So we're going to go over here to the gym. I don't know if there's anyone outside or not, but you're going to come over here and you're going to go ahead and swipe something. Hopefully she doesn't find out that her husband, her boyfriend on the inside is getting a little romantic with this girl. Because he is. He is certainly going ahead and getting a little bit of... Uh, getting up there in the world with this girl all right let's see special flirty um go ahead and do a risky woohoo actually don't do the risky one try for a baby you want another baby don't you <laughs> yeah he's like i don't think so all right let's see if she catches him she catches him can't do anything about it 
says he's now a toddler. All right, he finished his book, which is great. Jump over to him in just a second. I just want to get this taken care of first. All right, so try for a baby. I don't know where they're going to go to try, but it'll be pretty funny if it succeeds. Can you take, um, can you snatch that car up? No, I want you to steal, swipe something. All right, let's see, where are they going to go? To the shower? I don't think they can both get to the same shower, though. That's the problem. Because they're like boy and girl, boy and girl, whatever. All right, so you swiped that car? Yes, she did. All right, perfect. They finally made their move and kissed. Okay. Um, he's romantically involved with her as well now. <laughs> it's horrible. That is horrible. All right, so yes. Check. He confesses attraction to her. Um, he's been renewing his affections towards partner Julian Poirot. Poirot. I don't know, something like that. All right, so jumping over to you guys. Don't go to sleep yet, Victor. I want you to, um, yeah. Don't go to sleep yet, Victor. Already asleep. Um, let's see. Writing. I want you to start your article. You, on the other hand, do you really need sleep? You could get up for a little bit. I mean, it's 11 o'clock, but I want you to go ahead and take care of all of your needs first. And then I'll let you go back to bed. You can go to bed, and Mallory, man, you have to pee. But I want to get you over back over here to this this beach and see if you can steal this car now. Um, I think you can. So let's get you over here to swipe something. And then I'm going to go with Lyle just because he's kind of the main focus for right now today. Which is fine in my eyes. It's fine. It's fine. You're going to woohoo with her. I don't know where you're going to do this. That's what I thought. All right, I'm going to take you guys out then because I know some place where you can go to woohoo. Um, you can go over here to this. Wait, did we already do this one? I think we did. I think that's where we woohooed last time. All right, we're going to go over here to this beach. And at these beaches, there's normally little showers or whatever in here. So let's see. Is there a shower in here? I don't know. I can't see. Turn on all lights. That's just the bathroom. Alright. I know there's one at the other beach, but since his girlfriend was going there, I was trying to get him away from that. But that's okay. That is okay. We can go over there and do it. I mean, what, what is she going to do? Break up with him? Well, he kind of deserves it in a way. Kind of deserves it. Alright. Let's go here with your... Go here with your date. I hope she just swipes that car because at least we'll get it before that's t it's too late. But she's got a really nice car and he doesn't. So I think she should. Speeding. Time saver or road menace? Okay, that's fine. Oh, you stupid lady. You stupid lady. Alright, just go home. Actually, don't go home. Pause. Go and use this bathroom over here use because you really need to pee all right he just took a ride in his own car and I think she's got to work tomorrow yeah in 22 hours so we're gonna have to get her working on that a little bit but if you were playing a legacy this would be like the perfect lot to start out on because I mean you could do everything here really so it's pretty cool you can get drinks and you can get food because there's a little thing here. You can take your showers and everything. So it's pretty crazy. Alright. Pause. Let's go down and let's try for a baby and we're going to try with Kara. Alright, lady. You just broke this toilet on a community lot. You certainly got to fix that now. Come on. Unclog that. That's so gross. And then when you're done with that, I'm going to let you go over here.
it's, we're playing dangerous right here. Look at this. <laughs> oh well, happens. Okay, so let's get you guys into the shower and get you ready to do what you want to do. Um, please tell me this person's not coming here. Oh, you know this paparazzi's coming. All right, all right, Lyle, Lyle, you gotta let her go first. Oh, Lyle. You make me angry sometimes. Hopefully she can still get in there. I think she can. All right. Hoping this works. And she just repaired the toilet, which is great because we absolutely needed to get that done as well. Because I always feel bad if I break something and then don't fix it. I always feel like a horrible person. All right. I want to swipe something. But she can't because that stupid person is on this lot. I'm hoping he's going to leave pretty quickly because it looks like he's leaving right now. Alright, let's see. Swipe something. Oh, Billy Basili, he's having a baby. Alright, he just woohooed with Kara Carter. <laughs> he is too funny. Alright, well, you can go home. Actually, why don't you use this potty and then go home? Can you not use this? Oh, what's this? Listen to complaint. No, he's got to use the bathroom. Man. All right. Can you woohoo yet? Or woohoo. Just go home. I can't get it to work for some odd reason. If I can figure it out, I will, but for right now, actually, don't go home yet. I want to look and see if I can find some someplace else that you can buy, get something. Um, we could look over here. I know there's a parking lot in front of this building, but like I said, it's all sloppy jalopies. It's so stupid. All right, let's go back to that gym right here. And I know that outside there's a guitar, and I want to try and swipe it, but I'm scared she's going to swipe something else. And I don't think she can do it because these people are outside playing the guitar. So I'm going to have to go someplace else as well. So, let's see. What else is around that we could look into swiping? Um, is there anything good over here? No, not really. Um, let's see. Anything good over here? No. That's so horrible. You should be able to find something good. Come on. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing. Okay, so that's fine. There's cars there, but there's none good. Um. Alright, just go home. Just go home. Yo. Oh, he broke the toilet. Well, I'm not going to make him stay up and fix it because he is too tired. Kara doesn't know it, but she's carrying Lyle's baby. Alright, jumping over to the house because things are crazy over here. And I'm sure things are just as crazy at the house, this very tiny place. Alright. Victor, you got to go to work tomorrow, I think. So let's get you to bed. Oh, that's Melanie's bed. Let's go ahead and let you sleep. Melanie, how are you doing? You need to go to sleep as well. Mallory, go to sleep. Lyle, go to sleep. Hopefully you guys can still sleep in the same bed when you have just woohooed with another girl and got her impregnated. Just saying. He just went on his first date with Carol, which is fine. It says, after a wonderful date like that, there's a no hand ringer ringing over calculating moves to worm your way into another one. It's inevitable that you'll be seeing each other again soon. No, we won't. He does not care about seeing her again. He is all about the one night stands. Alright, two new kitties now reside at the Stuart Lim household. Okay. I'm getting a bit sleepy. I should head home. This was really nice time we spent together. Thanks. You're so welcome. Glad I could, you know, assist with the uh, baby making process. Alright, so let's go ahead. I just want to check something really quickly. Um, nope, not that. Oh, that's not it either. Alright, click on this stupid thing. Um, more. Enra, story progression. 
town options. I just want to make sure I set the names and I did. Okay. There we go. Buddy, are you coming or what? I mean, seriously, it's taking you this long to get home and you've got six hours until work? Are you kidding me? You took way too long getting home. <laughs> Great date. All right. So they're all in bed. Let me see. How much time do I have left? I have... Oh, man. Okay, well, I forgot to start my timer, so I'm going to have to go ahead and look. I'll be back when one of them is getting up for their day. Be back in just a second. Okay, so Mika is actually up. She's not climbing out of bed, but she's up. She's going to go ahead and clean up the dishes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let her jump into the bathroom and take care of some of the things that she needs to do. And then she's going to go ahead and grab some leftovers. She's going to eat some of the apple pancakes that are still in there. All right, so we've got a baby on the way. Who knows about the other baby? Nobody knows. I don't know if she's pregnant or not, and I don't know of a way to tell. Because in here, it won't show the other sim until you actually have a child with them. So that's just very... It's not very realistic, and it's really ridiculous. It should show all of his, you know, potential lovers in there. I mean, they have a tie, so... I mean, they're not boyfriend and girlfriend, though. I guess that makes sense. All right, Victor's carpool will be here in about an hour. All right, Victor... Whoops, wrong person. Let's get you over here to have a quick meal of plasma orange juice. That'll be pretty good. All right, when does this opportunity need to be done? It doesn't have a time limit on it, so that's good. All right, you are taking care of your bathroom needs. Hopefully you don't take too long in the shower because Victor does need to go. Um, so when he is done drinking his plasma juice, I'm going to go ahead and let him jump over there and jump into the shower and things. All right, I'm going to let you take your shower after you um, eat because he needs to use it first. All right, Carl is now the father of a new baby boy. May just gave birth to a baby boy named Antone. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. That's my baby boy. Wait, was she already pregnant when we met her? We had woohoo with the pregnant lady. Ugh, we gotta try that again now. Just because it kind of blew our chances. What's the odds that you're gonna find someone who's already pregnant? I mean, come on. Alright, anyways. So when you're done, go ahead and go to work. Um, I don't think it'll take him too long to do those two things. Before you do this, let's hold on. All right, you are just getting up, and you just got into bed, but you need to come out here and just grab a drink. That's all you really need to do. And then if you have enough time, I'll go ahead and let you just, you know, nap on the couch. Oh, she's sitting on it, so I don't think you can. All right, anyways, the, car, the school bus for Mika will come. Mika, what are you doing, girlfriend? Get out of there. Oh, poor Victy. He can't even get a shower in peace around here. All right, take a shower. Lyle's carpool will come in about an hour. Come on, let's go. Take your shower and hurry up. Lyle, you just drink that, and when if you have enough chance, you can go ahead and take a nap. I don't think you'll have enough chance, but you can try. Yeah, that really ticks me off that she was pregnant now. Ugh, that really makes me angry. I could try again. I mean, I don't have to, but we could woohoo in the same exact place. It wouldn't make a difference. Um, but, I don't know. It takes a lot to get him to that point. It really does. Alright, so, um, Lyle, the only other person he has to woohoo with is, um, Seema Celine. And I'm going to try and pursue this a lot, but before he can even try to take her out or anything to do it, he's going to have to, uh, definitely boost up that relationship with her like he had kind of with Kara. They were already friends to boot. Um, him and his boss were really good friends because of working together. Um, and then, let's see. Um, I know who his last one's going to be. You guys don't, but I do. And it's going to be really cute. So I think you guys will like it. Alright. So, Mallory and Melanie are still sleeping. When you get up, you need to eat some of the leftover pancakes. And then I'm going to let you go ahead 
Oh, jump in Jehoshaphat's clean, use, and shower. Then you can go ahead and get the mail. And you can go ahead and accept a gift from a friend. You, on the other hand, need to eat apple pancakes. And then we'll figure out something for you to do as well. All right, I think that's good. Oh, busted. Edmund Flynn was ordered to report to the jail with a brief stay in one of the town's less than luxurious cells. Next time, pay your child support and you won't get in trouble. Maybe Edmund should have paid more attention at orientation because he isn't cutting it and has been demoted to the kitchen scullion. That is so mean because he was in jail, so that is just really funny. All right. Looking at time-wise, I still got about 15 more minutes, so plenty of time. <laughs> Alright, so Melanie is actually getting up now. She's going to go ahead and grab... Actually, they're both getting up. Melanie and Mallory are getting up. Perfect. Um, I can't wait to see what his babies look like. That was kind of the whole point, was to get, you know, little ties into this world. The only bad thing is, is when this LP is over, those babies, we're not going to have the ties to them anymore unless we pull them into the family. We could, but I don't know that we will. Alright, you just needed logic, but I keep forgetting to make you get it. And what do you need for work? Stories and reviews. You could actually use a little bit on writing, so just go ahead and practice writing for a little bit. Alright, so you're going to eat on the toilet and you're going to eat at the table. That's fine. All right, so you're a vegetable slicer. You need to work on your you and your boss's relationship. Mallory, what do you need? You just need athletics. So instead of taking you out to the gym today, I think I'm going to have you do it right here with the TV. You can go ahead and work out cardio. Just don't break a sweat because you're going to have taken our shower already. Um, Melanie, girl... Let's go ahead and let you clean up the plates, maybe. Oh, maybe your sister's already doing it. Never mind. All right. So Annie June and Hyan Moon June um, say they're having a baby. Okay, that's fine. Um, you want to have your first kiss. I know you do, and it's coming. Um, let's go ahead and uh, play with magic. That's a good one to do because you need to level up your magical skills. That is a big, big thing that you need to do. Um, sure, you can research the supermarket if you want to. That's not a big deal to me. I really don't care if you do or don't. Um, let's see. Um, okay, let's see. Play with more magic. I don't know how much time you actually have. Not too much time. If you have enough time, go ahead and chat with your boss, which is actually Kara. Oh my god. This is getting even weirder as it goes. Drama! Like, oh, hey, by the way, I had woohoo with your brother-in-law last night. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> too funny. All right, Victor, you earned 318 simoleons today at work. That's really great. You, man, you always come home and you always need to take a nap. It's really ridiculous. You need to, like, start going to bed earlier or something. I don't know. I did tell you to get up because I needed you to work on that stories and reviews. Look how bad that is. That's horrible. That is just bad. So I was trying to get him to work on it, but obviously it didn't really work. Um, Lyle, I don't know what your problem is, but you need to get over it, buddy. Get over your problems. All right, seriously, in the shower over there, you're a little bit loud. All right, when you're done, I'm going to let you come in here and, oh, jump into Jehoshaphat's. Go ahead and unclog it and use it, and then go ahead and take a quick shower. All right, and then, Victor, when you're done with what you need to do, all you need to do is shower, and then you need to have some fun, but you need to continue writing. And I know that's probably not going to be very fun for you, but that's what I've got for right now. Talk to your friends. And then when you get out of there, you do need to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and let you take care of that. All right, first off, let's go ahead and take some gifts. All right, this is from Ann and Half. This is a message from the game. I'm going to go ahead and take it here. 
And we're getting the Phantom Master 3000 Tabletop Edition Lamp. Thank you so much. And, oh, three hours and 33 minutes. I'm sorry I can't send back to you yet. Um, that's for Build the World. Okay, that's fine. That's for the Eight Little Sims. Eight Little Sims. All right. Um, this is the message from the game that I already took from you. That's for Katrina and Trent. Okay. Man, you send me amazing gifts. So thank you so much for sending, always sending me all your gifts. It means so very much to me. And I do really appreciate it. Um, I wish I could send back to you more often, but I record multiple different ones in a day. So I just take try to take out each one so that you don't I don't lose your gifts. Alright, so a commentary copy of Victor McGregor's book was um McGregor's new book, Right But Wrong, was has arrived in the mail. She also got a gift um in the mail from Theron. And Melanie, your carpool is coming, so you need to stop doing all this. And go take care of the bathroom needs that you have. Because I want you to be in a good mood for work. And you, on the other hand, are ready for work. When do you go to work? In eight hours. Oh my goodness, she works so late. It's so crazy. All right. Okay. Um, Lyle, you're still at work. When you get home, you need to take a couple of naps. And then I need you to get on the phone with... Actually, I want you to go ahead and invite her over. No. I need you to invite her out. Alright, Nathan, you're working on your gardening skill. That's fine. Before you go to work, let's get you to take care of your needs. You'll be okay to do that, and then you can go to work. I promise you. And if it starts to get to the point where, like, you're getting really late, I'll go ahead and stop you anyways. All right, go ahead and do this. How bad is your hygiene, by the way? If you just do bladder, I would be happy, but is your hygiene bad? No, just do your bladder, and then you can go to work. You'll be okay. All right, you keep working out because it's what you need for work, and I don't think you're very close to what you need, actually. You're still, like, two behind, two skill levels behind. So you do need to work on that. Mika, go research the store. And then when you're done with that, go ahead and do your homework. Oh, you can't do your homework yet. Okay. All right. You're on your second nap, which is great. Oh, my goodness. Let's get rid of this trash. Mika would like to go over to Moses Doe's after school. Is that okay? Sure. You know what? Go ahead and do it, girlfriend. You go ahead and do that. And then we'll do this other stuff another day. Um... Yeah, she's got to research this by the next school day, but she can go over there until about 3, 4. Well, she gets out at 3, so about 5, and then we'll send her over to wherever she's got to go. You want to see a game at the stadium? Is there one going on tonight? Because that'd be perfect. She just got on the honor roll. Lyle left work with 329 simoleons today. That's great. All right, Lyle, when you do this, that'll be good. All right, you're working out, which is what you need. You are at work. Let's go ahead and let you... What do you need most for work? Your boss and cooking. So let's suck up to your boss. Who is your boss, by the way? Your boss is... Oh, yeah, Kara. <laughs> Forgot for a second. All right, so you're almost done. You're almost ready to get up. I got you taking care of what you need to take care of. And then when you're done with that stuff, you're going to have to have a quick meal of plasma juice. All right, Mika... You're at that person's house. Let's go look at the house. I just want to see it. It's pretty much why I sent her there. Actually, I think we've seen this house. Maybe not. So this is what it looks like from the outside. Kind of looks like a castle. It's kind of cool looking. All right. So going down to the bottom floor. Bottom floor. All right. So as you can see out back, there's a little <clears throat> area to eat. There is a swing set. So that's really, really nice. Um, I think that's about it. Going inside, there is a half bathroom, a very big entrance way. That is really nice. I like that, especially if you have a big family. Um, and then over here in these rooms, you've got like, it's a little bit frozen, frozen, frozen. This is the living room with the stereo, the TV, the couch. You got a little office with a computer, a dining room here, and then this is the kitchen here, obviously. Headed up to the next floor. Oh, I love this. It's open. 
and it's got like a little hallway and it's got two little rooms for kids one I think more boyish one I think more girlish they share this um, full bath it's got a really nice little um, place here where you know you could add anything you really wanted it's got a nice balcony and then it's got another set of stairs going up to the next floor which is open again which I love it's got this little hallway here with a full bath here and then this is obviously the master bedroom but I love that it has the entrance from the bedroom and the entrance from the hallway it's got a crib with the xylophones and the toy box um, it's got the bedroom here and then it's got this bath I want this house can I steal this from these people because I would love this house and then this bathroom is actually two stories high so if you look at it it's two stories high so that is really amazing I really like this house and how much is this house oh I can't tell hmm I really do like it I mean <clears throat> if I could if I could move into this house today I would all right so why don't you go ahead and just play with your little friend I don't know who they are but you can play with them until about five o'clock so why don't you do well I don't understand why it says friendly introduction like you haven't introduced yourself to them already like seriously I'm at their house like you don't think I've already I haven't already introduced myself to them I guess not I guess they don't think so okay whatever okay so go ahead and introduce yourself to this little kid why don't you go ahead and be friendly and um, compliment his home tell me how big of a home he has compared to you go ahead and get to know him go ahead and gossip go ahead and play po rock paper scissors um, shaka bra share a secret um, be funny make a silly face and then tell him a funny story and then go research the store there you go so I've given you a lot to do with this kid at least you know you've done that alright Mallory you just became strong that's different I've never heard of you coming strong from a cardio workout so that's different alright Jay has just improved his fishing skill to level 2 okay that's fine alright you are napping which is good exactly what you need to be doing and then you're gonna invite that girl out again in this time hopefully she's not gonna be pregnant so at least we can at least have a proper um, try I mean I'm not saying he she has to be but I mean come on we tried and then it like gypped us because she was already pregnant and it didn't let us know so I call that I call it false pretenses and it calls for a replay <laughs> I really just think it would be cute if he had a baby with all of them. And so you could see the different genetics and things. Not that I think he's really going to be in their lives, because I don't think he'd really care to be in their lives, but that's okay. All right, you're making friends with your friend. All right, and when you're done with researching the store, then you can come home, and then you need to go ahead and do your homework, actually. Don't, no, not that. Um, go ahead and do your homework. All right, Mallory... How are you doing, friend? You're actually doing really well on all your needs. You don't really need anything, so that's fine. Boogers are salty. That's disgusting. All right, so that is just that's just totally wrong. Um, all right, so you're done working out, which is fine. You want to meet a supernatural and meet a vampire. You also want to pick five wallflowers. So let's see if we can find some wildflowers for you to pick. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go back in here to live mode for just a second. I believe this is your car. Yes, it is. In here, we have this car right here. Victor, you are the winner. I think you need one still. Birds. Okay, hold on. Pull this back out. Make this your preferred vehicle and then put it in your inventory. All right, her sister's got one, which looks like this. So that's fine. She's got one. We gave him this stupid sloppy jalopy. No one wants it. Um, not sloppy jalopy, um, big lemon. 
Um, and then if we could find one more car for her daughter, that would be perfect. So let's see. It's about 538 and she doesn't really need anything. So I want to send her out. She wants to do a couple of things. She wants to find some flowers. Who's this person? Monty Prince. She wants to find some flowers, and I know that they spawn on this lot. So I want to look over here and see if any have spawned. Um, yep, right here. Good ones, too. So come and pick the Cosmos. Um, you could pick up these seeds. It would just make us some money. And you could catch that, and you could catch that. Um, let's see, what else could you do? You could collect that. And then in here, <clears throat> sorry about my voice, it's going a little crazy. I don't know what's going on. Um, you could go ahead and catch that. And I don't really see any more flowers, but that's, that's okay. We don't have to have flowers. I mean, it was just worth a try to come over here and see if we could find anything. Go to France and buy the recipe. No, nah, we're not going to France. Sorry. Oh, that's a pretty nice car. We should get that one. And I think she's got some gems in her inventory she needs to cut. So we're going to go ahead and do that as well. It's never a bad idea to do what we need to do. All right. How many gems did she have in her inventory? She has about one, two, I think two. He's got none. She doesn't have any. He doesn't have any. And she doesn't have any. Okay, so she's got about two gems to cut. And that should be good. And then after that, I'm going to have you consign them. Because that's a pretty big thing. Let's sell these butterflies and things. You could take them to the, um, oh, there's my alarm. You can take them to the consignments, or the science station. But half the time when I take them there, it doesn't even really give you anything more. So I just find it just as easy just to sell it out of my inventory and be done with it all. That's my own, that's my own little thing. Alright, so she caught the ladybug. Alright, there is another butterfly over here that we can catch. And I think there was another one back there. Oh, maybe it's gone now. I think they're both gone, actually. Alright, so... Her carpool is going to come in about an hour. Alright, well, we'll get her to work in just a second. You just have to suck it up buddy all right the bloodstone go ahead and do the emerald cut all right guys well since we're just pretty much cutting gems and then headed to work i'm going to go ahead and end the episode here um in the next episode we're going to continue with getting lyle and finishing off his lifetime wish then we'll work more on hers and we'll just go down the line pretty much and hopefully get them all done at one point or another if you guys like this please don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel and also, please don't forget to try and check out some of my other LPs that you think you may like. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.